the year which marks the centenary of Bayreuth and the 400th anniversary of the death of Hans Sachs, a master singer of our own time came to London to coach student singers in the rules of their art. Hans Hotter is now 67. In his prime, he was one of the great Wagner singers, a celebrated Wotan and sax, as well as a renowned recyclist. He came to London to talk and sing his way through 12 hours of master classes. This programme consists of all sorts of bits of wit and wisdom drawn from those classes, snipped out of their context and recited among some of Hotter's own vintage leader recordings. So what emerges in words and music is an illustration of the art of Hans Hotter, master singer. beginning you must stand and now I decided I'm not nervous and I won't be afraid I will not be afraid <laughs> you must do it don't you think the great artists they're not afraid sometimes you have done a good record a very good one and then everybody says now now he's singing that or she's singing that the record is good that, that record is and then he happens, or she happens to have not the best day. Everybody says, uh. <laughs> You think that makes you very nervous. I remember Elizabeth Schwarzkopf. I congratulated her on a record she had done with Edwin Fish, and I said, What the marvelous... Then that song you said, yes. But she said, It's ruined. I never sing it again. It's too good. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so, decide I want to sing it, and I will sing it good. Well... This is part of our job, my dear. This is professional. Excuse me. When do you start to sing? After five bars. Yeah, and when but do you well, start to perform? At the beginning. Right. Try to get into the mood of the song. Not only when you start to sing. Very important. <laughs> Zu spät durch Nacht und Wind. Es ist der Vater mit seinem Kind. Er hat den Knaben wohl in dem Arm. Er fasst ihn sicher, er hält ihn warm. Er fasst ihn sicher, er hält ihn warm. Let's face it, I mean, we can sing opera with a very beautiful voice. And it can be a very silly story. And if you have a gorgeous voice and sing well, then quite a high percentage of the audience will be happy with it. But certainly not in leader singing. The words in leader singing are much more important. Come, liebes Kind, come, geh mit mir. Gar schöne Spiele spiel ich mit dir. Manch bunte Blumen sind an dem Strand. Meine Mutter hat manch Güter gewandt. Mein Vater, mein Vater, und hörst du nicht? König mir leise verspricht, sei ruhig, bleibe ruhig, mein Kind, in dürren Blättern säuselt der Wind, in dürren Blättern säuselt der Wind. Wie 
number of classical composers, the reason why they write music is not to get rid of any musical ideas, but rather to bring out the words of the poetry. What can we do in order to do this? First of all, we must understand each single word. realize when you sing a song you, sh you must be able to recite it and it should be more or less the same way as you would recite it you know how much just Hugo Wolf wanted the words to come out and he said in his modesty all I do compose the music in order to bring out the beauty of the poetry and this one should never forget special singing Wolf and therefore the words are most important in this case So ist die Lieb, so ist die Lieb, mit Küssen nicht zu stillen. Wer ist der Tod und will ein Sieb mit Eitelwasser füllen? Und schöpfst du an die tausend Jahr und küssest ewige Alle Stunden neu wunderlich gelüstern, wir bissen uns die Lippen wund, da wir uns heute küssen. Das Mädchen in die gute Ruhe ist Lämmlein unter Mäxer, ihr Auge bat nur immer zu.
Do you really know what you sing about? Yes. From what you stand there and what you show on your face, I have the feeling could be anything, you know? Try. This is part of our job. We're not singing for ourselves, we're singing for others. We are supposed to evoke emotions, to get it responded from the audience. But if you look at them like this, I'm not trying to be nasty, don't misunderstand me. But if you want to reach them, you must look at them, and I must get the feeling that you believe and think what you are thinking about. You know what I mean? Mm. There must be something in your face. Mm. I'm very much against all this uh, making fuss on stage and moving about. And this is not the thing <laughs> what I mean. This is terrible. Everybody knows this, and you know exactly that I know, don't, don't mean this. But let in your, in your face, this is the only thing which lives on the concert stage for a singer, for expression's sake. It's uh, different to the stage where there's so many things. But in this case, it's all concentrated on your face. Give it some thought, right? May I ask you, what is the reason why you have chosen it? Uh, um, I, I worked before um, other Schubert songs, and mm -hmm. I always have a tendency to sing a very um, sad thing. Oh, really? And uh, I wanted to cheer up, to try to cheer Oh, this is the reason why you uh, <laughs> chose it. Oh, yeah. That is a very wise decision. <laughs> Most young singers uh, love to be sad in, in their choice, you know. I remember I was, I was only doing very sad and very serious songs, and all of this grim face, you know. I remember I had a concert in, in my very early time in recite in Berlin and uh, a very famous colleague of mine he uh, wrote me a very kind letter and said uh, it was very good it was excellent but tell me why do you always look so very grim and, so <laughs> and I was very surprised and I asked my friends is it true they said yes unfortunately it is true. <laughs> you see that that means we are not aware of the fact Especially, we are so concerned about so many things when we sing as a, as a young uh, interpreter, but we do not think of how necessary is it that we uh, protect what we say, what we talk about. Start from the beginning and try to tell the audience a happy story, <coughs> and not a nervous one. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is the face we need. Exactly this. <laughs> and try not to think of the audience. Try to think of interpreting something, telling a story to a friend of yours. Right? <laughs> no. Mm. The song starts from the beginning. Yeah. For you. Yeah. Face them from the beginning. <laughs> Ich hört ein Bächlein rauschen und aus dem Felsen quill. Hinab zum Talle rauschen, so frisch und wunderhell. Ich weiß nicht, wie mir wurde, ich werde den Rat wieder gab. Ja, sag mal, try not to say, don't make an accent, because it's a higher note. Ja. Werde Rat wieder gab. Ja, without pointing at the, the, the top note. Ja. You must force yourself into a, into a friendly mood, and then the, the voice will sound. Apart from the fact that when you f smile, the voice becomes a bit brighter. Yeah. 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 Sounds also easy. The whole, <laughs> everything, everything you need for singing, uh, for technique singing, you can put on one page of note paper. All of it. Try not to breathe in between, or if you breathe, breathe not visually. Mm. It's a difference when I say, Hage keine Blume, ich, or you say, Hage keine Blume. I'm breathing, but nobody, only the singers sing, they look here. No? <laughs> <laughs> but the audience doesn't. 
normally. <laughs> if I'm strong enough to look at them and face them, so I concentrate on my face. I won't look here. Magician, you know. You can put it from your pretty bloom. And everybody thinks he does it in one breath. <laughs> yes, but this is important, you see, this is important. We must keep the interest focused on the words. No? And music comes with it, that there's a unity. This is a married state, words and music. Mm -hmm. A happily married state. Just sing it straight out like a folk song. Sure. Sure. love to be sung, simply. No? Yeah. If you do it convincingly, we will all accept it. It's a question whether you believe in it, and if you do it convincingly, it yeah. See, if you do take a breath out of emergency, do it as you had intended to. You know? Don't, not everybody think, ah, now I didn't. I then virgin schließ die ganze Welt mir ein. Ah, new thing. <laughs> See? Yeah. It's not quite what Schubert meant, but at least it's better than everybody thinks, aha, uh -huh, it, it didn't last. <laughs> this wonderful day. And, and don't be sad about this. Enjoy the beauty. This must make you almost start to cry. The beauty is so, so strong, you know? Schubert has such an enormous beauty, which is always inclined to have a bit of a tear in it. It needn't necessary to be said because of that. This is famous saying of Richard Strauss, which I always repeat again. Sing piano and speak forte. Sounds so, so easy, but it, it's a whole philosophy of, of what it means to sing a concentrated piano. Piano doesn't mean, you know, too floppy or dropping your energy. It means a concentrated energy with elbow room. You could sing loud if you would but you decided not to, but you give it density of sound mm -hmm. in concentration. Mm -hmm.
As a musician, what can you do in order to make two phrases different? Mm. Yeah? When somebody says something a second time, he won't, he won't make yeah, it. Yeah, in, in other words, dynamically. Yeah. This is the musical expression. Mm. Either softer or louder, different in any case. Yes. Yeah? Right. This we must think over. Why do we do it the second time softer or why do we do it uh, louder? Mm. This we must think out. Uh, or we may be able to do it in a different color, you know, mm -hmm. to, to, to get it from an, a different angle and then describe it in a different way. Then there is another variety in it. But we must always, if we try to sing a song, always think out what is the reason why I do it this or that way, you know. Another difference between opera singing and leader singing. In opera singing, the conductor tells you what to do mm -hmm. all your life, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you may be able to, to, to say, I would like it this or that way, but you may find a conductor who is agreeable to that. But when you stand here on the concert stage, you, with your accompanist, um, with your partner rather, I hate the word accompanist, with your partner, you discuss it and you are the one who decides or your partner decides and tells you, gives you good advice mm -hmm. and you both work it out. Mm -hmm. And it's your choice what you sing and it's your imagination which tells you I sing it this or that way, you see? Sprich unendlich war sein Weh, höchst bedenklich seine Lage Höchst bedenklich seine Lage, aber jetzt so kann er hoffen, wieder Gott zu leben, denn du heute denkst an ihn. a habit that everybody who sings the song thinks but if you you will see when you keep the tempo Den du holda, ridi da da da, den du holda denkst, denkst an ihn. Then the formate has some point. Has some point. Yes. See, I'm not blaming you for doing this because we are so used. This is so typical for so many things. This is the, the wrong understood tradition. Tradition taking over things others do. Admired artists, mind you. Admired artists, I have the same problem. Things you, you, you love somebody and you admire, 
and you take all the flaws and all the little things. And once uh, an artist is, is famous, nobody dares to say things. <laughs> it's just a little thing. And therefore, it's nothing wrong with saying, this is written like this, and now I try to do it the way it's written. And you will find that it's easier. First of all, vocal, you don't have to spread so much with your... And it gets a bit hammy at the end. Let's try the last part of this song. Strangely enough, I wasn't actually consciously, deliberately slowing that down. I believe you. You might These just be been done it out of reverence for somebody who's yeah. done it this way. Mm. This is the idea of this class, that I tell you things which I had a long time to go through with and had nobody to tell me. And uh, now this is I'm trying to give you this a bit earlier. And you, you, you may not like it, but you may keep it in your mind and sometime later you will say, hmm, I accept it. Sing too much in bars, you know. Sing a little more in a, in, a, in a continued line. Forget about these bar lines. This is a very important rule one should always be aware of. Not sing too much in the rhythm, you know. The rhythm we have learned, now we know it, now we forget about it. You know, and only the words are the commanding accents, not the one beat. One, two, three, one, two, you know. It goes all the way through. From the beginning, try to sing it not too loud, but do not lose intensity. Right. You know? Yeah. Oh, you see, what can Is there an accent? I don't see any. I don't lose awaken. Not awaken. Yeah. There's no accent, there's, it's all pianissimo. Is it pianissimo? Yeah. I think so, yeah. <laughs> now let's start again. What are you telling? What are the words? Consider? Is it that loud? Consider the wind. That's a, that's a storm already. Consider the wind. You know this situation in the spring night, the wind almost is quiet and nothing moves. You must describe it. Somewhere in the middle where we stopped, yeah? Da di da da di. Yeah. Yeah, it is very nice, but now try to do it in one line. Nice, um, my Mädchen, das nicht sie Nur leiser die Hand auf die Klinke gelegt. Not too many accents, you know. The effect comes out of this evenness. Drum, le drum leise, mein Mädchen. That's too much. Drum, drum. I like you to be uh, energetic and with temperament. Don't misunderstand me. But the temperament doesn't always show if, if, if you point at it. You know? Temperament must be inside. And the, the constant intensity of a song in piano, this makes it, uh, make the effect. Drum la di da di. Enjoy the line. Strauss always said, you must love the music, uh, otherwise you shouldn't perform it. You must love, and what we do in a concert, we tell the people, can you hear how beautiful this melody is? Mm. No? Mm -hmm. You must really believe it is beautiful and listen to the beauty of this. Enjoy it. Physically enjoy it. 
And then you get the intensity of, of, uh, of um, projecting it. Yeah? With happiness, not with excitement. Happiness. <laughs> It's all legato. Leise die Hand auf die Lieder. Vowels. The vowel sound. Drum leise. 